Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Now, your boy has been gone for a minute. I think I've missed um, two or three video slots. Pro probably not long enough for anyone to notice that I've actually been gone, but uh, long enough for YouTube to be like, hey boy, your views are dropping, get your stuff together and keep making channels, videos, God. I had the Sunday video. The Sunday video was a funny little satire piece that I worked really hard on, probably four hours in on editing, and I was about uh, at the eight minute mark of the 15 minute video. Uh, then it got corrupted. And I lost all that time, and I, I don't know, that was like the tipping point, and I was just like, I'm done, and I gotta make something, so I figured, um, yeah. Oh, so I wanted to take today and talk a little bit about mental health. I do want to be a, a big uh, mental health advocate on this channel and bring uh, into a positive light and some positivity into it. Uh, letting people know that, uh, you know, fellow people that also struggle with um, mental health issues that you can kind of turn it around and bring yourself to, um... I guess I wouldn't say successful because I don't believe I'm very successful, but to bring, you know, shine in a more positive light. I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to shy away from it. I don't want to like hide that I have mental problems and kind of leave it in the shadows. I, I, I do want to bring it up front and so people can kind of see like, you know, you can have all these struggles and you can still do it. What, whatever it is. Oh, I know. I know people are gonna be over here. I, I get this all the time. Dakota, you're so well put together. You, you've got it all figured out, and honestly, you're like the most successful person that I know. How do you do it? There is no way there's anything wrong with you. You are just incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was another part of that satire piece I'm not put together. <laughs> Yeah, let's make a video about mental health advocacy. Let's talk about how reptiles are a positive influence on those issues and so on. Oh, okay, so number one, I know we got quite a few new people here since the last video. I think I've made like a couple of these, maybe like one or two. Uh, I'm Dakota and I am sick mentally. Um, recently, I have been tested and diagnosed with 100% full proof. I know it now. I've been misdiagnosed in the past and um, I guess not diagnosed for certain disorders. Uh, right now, I'm sitting with uh, borderline personality disorder, uh, depression, anxiety, and ADHD combination. I was already ADD. I, don't, I guess they combined it now and I guess over the time I now have um, the hyperfixation, hyperactive, sorry, hyperactive and... Um, well, <laughs> my man's talking about ADHD and space is out in the middle of what he's talking about. I, I, man. So, um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. I got the first, the worst, um, being, uh, borderline BPD. I didn't really know much about BPD until I had people being like, hey, you have borderline, I think, because you match all the symptoms. And I looked up the symptoms and I was like, yeah, that sounds a lot like me. Uh, then I went to my psychiatrist and he was like, he kind of chuckled at me and then I was like, nah, you don't have it. Then there was another one that said, I didn't have it and then I went to go get tested and the guy tested me and was like no nah, you don't have it then I took the test and they're like actually yeah I know you have it you have a borderline severe they put severe in parentheses I don't know why <laughs> and yeah so after you know getting that proper diagnosis of um borderline I decided well probably should do some research about it since now I know that I actually have it and started reading more and more into it and I guess it's actually like not good um it's like um I don't know this is like uncomfortable to talk about so it's uh, I don't know man I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's like really not a good one. I, it's, it's like Google says it's like the most painful mental disorder to have. So, um, that's cool. I am, I don't know, man. It's like, it really affects, um, I don't think it's the worst in so much of like yourself. I mean, there's definitely like worse disorders you can have out there, but it really is effective of, um, your personal relationships, uh, family members, actual relationships, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Uh, it's really bad with that, and it is really bad with that, and it's probably why I haven't been able to be in a steady, stable relationship for a very long time, up until, of course, my fiancé or wife, Renee. I don't really like using the word um, fiancé, so I just call her wife all the time, but people probably are gonna be like, wow, this is weird when I make, like, a marriage video like all other YouTubers. Um, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very lonely and, um, 
isolating disorder. Um, I truly believe that I really don't have any friends. I kind of stopped having friends after the age of, uh, I want to say like 15, 16, something like that. I really started losing touch with my friends. Of course, I got into some hard substances and that really messed everything up. Now I'm up here. I've been clean for actually, um, 2015, 2021, six years. I've been clean for six years now. Uh, yay! The day before my birthday is the day I got clean, so it's like six years. Birthday. Good stuff. Uh, so yeah, ever since I moved up here, I really didn't make an effort, and I don't know, I just... It, it's, um, it's a very isolating thing. I do a lot of times feel like truly alone in that, um... There's really not people out there for me. Other than really being effective with uh, personal relationships and family and stuff, let's talk about what BPD really is, because not a lot of people know. I mean, such as myself, and I, <laughs> I have the damn thing. I have the disorder. Um, I I'm just gonna go with, like, personal stuff, like what personally affects me. There might be more. This might not be effective to everybody, but yeah. Um, so, personally for me, stuff that affects me with, um, borderline disorder is anger is a big one. Um, I am a very... I guess stuff triggers me very easily. I get triggered very easily. I guess that's the uh, word to use. Uh, just slight stuff will just get me into, like, an intense rage and I can't control it too well. Um, I guess uh, after reading a lot, there's, like, almost like subcategories of um, BPD. I guess I'm the quiet BPD because I don't like showing that anger. Um, a lot of that has to do with um, past childhood stuff that I'm not gonna get into. But um, yeah, so I kind of repress all of that anger. I kind of just like keep it as tight inside and not. I don't like to show it um, too often, which may be a reason why um, I was, I, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's like misdiagnosed or not diagnosed with it because I, anger is a big thing with borderline and I don't really like at all love, I, I don't like showing anger like whatsoever um, in any instance. So I think that was a big reason or it could have been one of the reasons why um, many doctors or psychiatrists uh, didn't believe I had it. Uh, impulsivity is a big one, which is great because there's also impulsivity in um, ADHD. So I've got like the double impulsivity. Um, I've let my impulsivity get the best of me and it, is shown on my YouTube um, channel. You see me like loving crested geckos and then like pretty much with um, like with any reptile project, this is like a big thing that really affects my business and Renee is incredible at um, keeping me grounded and making sure I don't do anything too, too stupid. Uh, trying to keep me afloat. Uh, so like pretty much with like any reptile stuff, if I have a bad year with like the crested geckos, they would chew a hole and eat the uh, embryo or the yolk, whatever it is they were after and that would um, desecrate the egg, it'd be flat. And I had like the worst uh, crested gecko year in um, 2020. I think it was 2020, yeah. And so I, at that point, I was like, we need to get rid of the crested geckos. Crested gecko sucks. Screw the crested geckos. I said that stuff in my video, like I lost my passion for it, but I didn't lose a passion for crested geckos. At the end, I just had a bad year with them. And just in my mind, I just went into like, still code red like we gotta get rid of these things because this is happening blah 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 i'm trying to do that a couple of times but renee's kept me grounded the toki geckos is another thing i'm struggling with because i of course we had a bad year with tokis and now i'm like oh man should we get out of toki geckos but like i know you can't get out of toki geckos cody you love the toki geckos but it's just one of those things it's like an internal struggle that i constantly uh have to deal with on like a daily basis black and white thinking is a big thing with me it's um not, not only with black and white thinking, and it, this is again really comes to like uh, personal relationships, uh, friendships, things like that. Uh, I, I also don't show much um, empathy towards things. I'm able to cut people out of my life fairly easily without feeling too much remorse over the fact. Uh, it comes a lot of a uh, past situation where I was friends with people and we were public. It was a YouTube friendship. Um, then there was stuff that happened and I just kind of was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It's one of the, it's... Black and white thinking is like, I don't know if this is for everyone, I'm just again going over um, personal stuff. Black and white thinking is like, if I have a stance on whatever and you have the opposite stance, I don't think you're against that stance, I think you're against me with that stance and I all of a sudden don't like you and dislike you very strongly for not having the stance that I believe that doesn't make any sense. Um, I. It, it, when people attack stances of that I have opinionated or aligned myself with, I believe you. I believe it to be like a personal attack against myself instead of the stance itself. And if it's a personal attack against me, I no longer like you and no longer want you in my life. And so you're done. And that's kind of like 
how it is. It's very, um, not good. I don't know what the word is. Yeah, I've lost a lot of friends due to that. I've messed up a lot of things in my, um, I guess, YouTube career, you want to say? It's, I don't know. A lot of, it's... Um, yeah, it, it, it's a very isolating, isolating thing. Um, it's a lot due to that. I, I, did, um, I don't like making friends anymore. I don't like getting close to people anymore because this is just kind of how I am. And it's, uh, it's hard. It's a, it's a very lonely, lonely thing out there. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you do, what you say, anything like that. I, up until, you know, whenever, to this point, I have always felt like I'm completely alone in everything that I do. And that is a hard, hard thing to deal with. I absolutely hate talking about my feelings and how I really feel inside, and yet here I am making a video about it. It literally makes zero sense to me. But... I don't know. I want... Of course, with this, I've been feeling alone for so long that... I think it'd be pretty cool if people saw this video and realized that they're not the only ones out there that feel this way. I think that would make a positive impact, and so, however uncomfortable this is, I want to do it for, um, that reason. Alright, a couple more, a couple more. Um, another big one is, uh, emptiness. Emptiness is a huge thing. Emptiness and, um, I guess, I'm trying to phrase, uh, like, lack of purpose, I guess is the, uh, the phrasing to use. Um, I... And this has been, like, especially prevalent in the last, I want to say, like, three, five-week period. I have just felt like this nothing, actually. I, I don't think there's anything in there. I just feel, like, completely numb and empty to, like, everything that's been going on around me. I mean, we've had a really great year. I mean, we are hatching babies, and I just don't feel a thing about it. And that really really sucks, man. That is not a fun thing to have. Um, for a lot of my life and most of my life, I, I, going as young, I, I feel so bad for my mom being like, you know, 12 years old and I ask the question, well, mom, if we're all gonna die, what's the point in living? Damn, mom. I am so... How do you answer that to, like, I don't know, I was probably, like, 11 or 12, so how do you tell... How do you answer that to a 12-year-old little boy? How do you answer what is the meaning of life when you ask that? Damn, man. I really put her on the spot with that, like, and for that, man, I apologize completely. It's... I've struggled with this, um... A, a lot, just trying to find purpose in my life and trying to find any... any any type of meaning to just keep it going because I just don't see it. I, I don't I don't see my purpose and I don't see a reason for it. Um, it's hard, you know, I at, at a young age, at um, 19, I knew, or I, I don't know, maybe I knew, I, I wanted to be about animals. I wanted to work with animals. That was my thing. And so I did it all. I, I've literally done almost every animal job except, you know, the big like zookeepers, stuff like that. The stuff you need like eight years of education for. Um, I've done it. I've worked in, uh, started out in daycare, uh, moved to a kennel position, moved then to dog training, moved then to a veterinary technician, moved then to, um, I don't know what the, I, 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 I hand raised baby exotic parrots. So anything from like a budgie to a hyacinth macaw, I hand raised and then sold for a pet store I was working at. I was the bird guy, um, stuff like that. I was a reptile specialist at stores and now I am a reptile breeder. And then my goal after being a reptile breeder was to be a full-time reptile breeder. And now I've done that. And now I need to figure out something else to do because I just find no contentment when I reach my goals. I guess I've just, uh, I'm a very ambitious person. I, I constantly aspire to get to what's the next thing, right? 
and then when I get there to whatever the next thing is, I'm not content with it. I'm never content in anything that I do. It always needs to be bigger, better, more, different, um, anything like that. So I've accomplished all of these things, and I don't mean to say it like, um, I'm not trying to take it for granted, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not over here, because I know this is a lot of people's dream, is to be, like, a full-time reptile breeder. This is, a, this is a lot of, like, young herpers and aspiring reptile breeders' dreams is to do this as a full-time thing, and here I am over here kind of, like, almost shitting on it. And I'm not trying to do that. I, I guess maybe the next goal would be, like, a successful full-time reptile breeder, because, like, I don't work a job. I don't work a regular 9-to-5, but I also am struggling to pay my bills. So maybe that's the next step is to um, actually make enough money to live comfortably on, maybe. <sighs> Good coping mechanism, Dakota. Just keep it satire and they won't know you're hurting. Good job. Good. Um, last thing, last thing is, um, I, I think it does, I think it plays a kind of a co-role in um, purpose, is uh, identity. It, it's hard for people with borderline personality disorder to really understand who they are, I guess. Like, I don't know who I am as a person. I, I really feel like I don't have an identity. <laughs> kind of a cringe thing. Um, when Before even like reptiles and things like that, I would really um, just create a whole like I don't know like persona or identity around like inspirational um like movie people <laughs> so like um okay like Sons of Anarchy I was Jax Teller then except I was like 18 I could not grow a beard and <laughs> stuff like that um things of that nature you can still see it today Vikings Dakota a year ago yeah? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, at this point, it's, um, it's reptiles. I've kind of, like, my whole fucking personality is, uh, reptiles being a person that keeps reptiles. I literally have no... It's very, it is very extremely, it's very easy talking to people within the community. I'm, I'm very good at that. I know a lot about reptiles, despite what YouTube comments would like to tell you. Um, I do. I know, I know a lot about reptiles. I keep a lot of reptiles. I have a good first knowledge about a lot of um, general information that has to do with just reptiles in the hobby. However, it's very difficult talking to people when it's just like regular people, like if it's Renee's family or Renee's friends, things like that. It's difficult to talk about anything else because I've kind of like wrapped my whole person around reptiles. I'm that weirdo that knows nothing else but reptiles. That is me. Okay, hey, so now people have somewhat of an insight to what um, borderline personality is. Um, I guess it's so, it's fucking gross. Uh, I guess uh, borderline, all those like big things, so borderline Tourette's, uh, DID, um, things like that, those are like new buzzwords apparently on TikTok, and so people are like faking having these disorders, which is fucking cringe dude like what the fuck I, I don't know why anyone would fake this I, I don't know why anyone would like aspire to have stuff like borderline it is an absolute I don't personal hell I don't know what the word it's shit it is absolute shit it has destroyed many things in my life not only to myself and things that are just me, but anything that is around me, my family's relationship, my friendships, my personal relationships. Um, like, I, I don't know why people would fake it. I, I don't know why anyone would want to be this. That's, that's, Fucked, dude. Like... Second part is, this isn't, this isn't a, uh, a BuzzFeed quiz to see like, oh my god, I feel empty inside. I don't know who I am. I have borderline. Don't do that. Don't be a piece of crap. 
Um, that is a huge problem and why I believe that the stigma is around actually like mental illnesses in general. I mean, we can go as far as like, you know, people are quirky when they have anxiety, things like that. A lot of people like to maybe not like purposefully fake these mental illnesses, but they Google it and then they're like, this is what I have. And then they're like, I don't know, man. It, it's one of those, it, don't do it. That is what I'm saying. Get a proper diagnosis. Go get an actual test. Um, if you are getting a test and you don't have a psychiatrist, you are going to be looked at very weird. It's going to be very difficult. It took me six different places, at which point after I got one of those places to actually do it for me, he then repeatedly said, I want to say like seven times. This was a three appointment there. He said like two or three times, we've never done this before. You just walked in and you want to know what mental disorders you have. And then I did the test and they're like, this is so strange. We've never done this. And then I got my results and he was like, we have never done this before. For, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but if you really want to know what you have and you don't want to just touch the opinion and you want to actually do whatever the stupid tests are, go for it. Good luck. I know, I know, this is a wicked long video. It has literally nothing to do with reptiles. I'll talk about reptiles so it stays somewhat consistent, but I thought that this was a video that needed to get out, get go out there. Um, the reptiles are actually a huge thing with me, and it's a huge reason why I believe that I'm... Um, still around. I don't want to say any words that might be not nice for people or things that get to me bad in relationship with YouTube, but we'll say that I didn't stick around. Um, I think the reptiles do give me somewhat of a purpose. It gives me some reason, you know, when, when life hits you hard, when this shit just hits you, you're on the ground and you just can't find a reason to keep on going. You know, animals play a big part in that for me because I'm not just living for myself now, you know? Everything here, everything here completely, get out of me, fly. Everything here fully depends on me as a person. I mean, yeah, I, I've got Renee, I guess Renee could do it, but uh, you know, I, I'm not slouching, and hang on, let me rephrase that. Renee does help, she's just a huge help. I don't want to like dismiss Renee helping me, that's not what I'm saying, but for the most part, everything here depends on me. You know, like, if these animals, if these water bowls don't, if I don't fill these water bowls, if I don't feed these animals, these animals aren't getting water and they're not getting food. That's just the way it is, that's how it is. So it does give me a reason to get up in the morning and keep doing this because animals gotta get fed, Animals need to get the poop taken out, animals need water, so on and so forth. They need bigger enclosures, they need interaction, they need stimulant for some of my more intelligent species, my monitor lizards, my tegus, things like that. I need to keep going and keep pushing forward because I need to do what's best for the animals. And that is a huge inspiration on how I can continue to get up every day and look at myself in the mirror for the most part is, you know, I, t I truly feel at the end of the day, it's just for the animals. I, I have no, um, I have no personal interest, I guess, in my life, if that makes any sense at all. I, I do it full heartedly and completely for the animals and to make sure that they have a happy and healthy life, you know? I I'm not doing YouTube so I can go buy myself a nice car or anything like that. Or even like, we're talking about, you know, we're moving here pretty soon. That's been a thing that's been weighing on me very heavily. I'm not buying a house so I can live in a nicer house. I'm actually doing the exact opposite. I'm looking at worse property, but it has more land. Like, I'm looking at like dinky trailers again, but they're sitting on five acres of land which means I can do huge, giant outdoor enclosures for my animals, but it just doesn't work for me personally. It's not an asset to me, Dakota. It's an asset to Dakota's animals. And that's really why I keep pushing. It's why I do the videos. I do the videos so I can make money. Well, number one, to keep the lights on for doing this full time. But number two, we do it in the live streams, the super chats, things like that. That goes right back to the animals. Bigger enclosures, nicer enclosures. We're doing PVC now for the Toke geckos. Things like that. I push everything for my animals, not for me at the end of the day is what I'm getting at. So um, yeah, I, I think getting um, diagnosed with borderline uh, BPD is, it's like, 
I don't know. I, I, it has good aspects, it has bad aspects. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. I, I have some sort of um, affirmation about the way that I feel. I, I, I knew something was up. I'm not normal. I'm not a normal person. No, I, I knew for a fact that not everyone out there is living life like I am. There's no fucking way that people are out there feeling like this and doing what they do. That is just impo- it's improbable. I don't know, maybe everyone does it. I don't fucking know. I knew something was wrong all these years. I just didn't know what. I didn't have that label. I didn't have that name. And now I do. I have it. I have BPD. That explains everything that is wrong with me as a person, I guess, if that's how you want to call it. Um, the hard part is, and the really difficult part with Borderline is, there's no, like, cure for it. And that's not only, I don't think that's been so difficult with me as it's been difficult for the people around me because, fuck, um, because now, Because I've, cause I've heard a lot of people, people that I care about. I've done a lot of stupid stuff, and a, a lot of stuff that I regret. And I think people were hoping that it wasn't this, so I could, you know, get better. I could, you know, get on some medication, and everything would be okay. But that's. That's not it. It's, um, it's not that easy, and it's not as hard for me as it is as hard for the people around me. It's hard. Um, sorry, sorry. It's very hard looking at the people you love and telling them that and them coming to the realization that you're not just going to get better. It's not an easy fix and they still have to deal with you and all of your problems for... And <laughs> it's hard feeling like a burden to everyone around me. That's the, um, that's the difficult part. <sighs> um, BPD, it doesn't have that magic pill, like depression or anxiety that you take and you feel better. It's not, it's not like that, you know? It's a very complicated and difficult process of therapy that kind of makes you almost like you have to rewire your brain and how you think and it does not have a um it doesn't have a very large success rate with it it's a very difficult thing to go through completely and um i think a lot of people around me are scared that i'm not gonna be able to do it and i'm just gonna you know stay this w this way forever Fuck, sorry. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, that is the stuff that I have been dealing with. I've, I've got, I've had the, um, I don't know, results, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, for a minute now, but I just, I just didn't want to face it. I, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want it to be true, I guess. I, I don't know, I wanted to ignore it and just keep doing the things that I've been doing, but I can't do that. That's not the right way to do it, so I'm kinda coming face to face with it, and I've just, it's it's been very difficult to do anything recently. Um, it's been hard, just getting out of bed has been 
difficult and keep pushing. So I've focused all my energy on my animals, making sure that everything is good, everything is fine, everything's fed, watered, good to go. And I just don't find myself having the energy to uh, make content. <clears throat> To make content and things like that, I just, I, I have video ideas, I have like a long ass list of video ideas, I just don't have the inspiration or the energy to sit down and give you guys the Dakota experience, ah, how's it going, blah blah blah, I just don't have it in me. And I know people are going to be like, Dakota, just, you know, take a break, it's fine, I, I can't take a break because YouTube gives me money, and that's how I make my living. So it is a gift and a curse once again. I get paid for doing this, making videos, talking to a camera. However, when I have days, weeks, months like this, I have to continue doing this because this is my job, you know? Like anything else in life with any, in America or most societies, I don't think this is just in America. Well, you know, I feel like Europe, Europe does it a little bit better. You know what? I think Europe has a little bit, uh, a little bit of a better grasp on a mental illness. America, you're really falling behind. But um, yeah, just because you're feeling down doesn't mean you can take a week off. You know, you gotta muscle through it, and it's shit, but it's the way, it's the way it is, and we will just keep pushing forward and, um, doing it. So, um, yeah, a little, a little insight on, um, Dakota having a borderline personality disorder and how it has affected my life and how I just feel like I am the shittiest person in the entire world. Um, it's not everything. I could have made this like a two hour video going like super in depth into all of it. I mean, there are many other things, mood swings, um, paranoia, um, God, paranoia is a big thing. Maybe I should have talked about that. I should talk. There, there's a lot of things that go with it. Those were some big things that really affect me. And, um, yeah, I don't know how to end this video. I know I want to end this video on a positive note. I don't want to end it like, boo-hoo, feel bad for Dakota, look at how hard he has this life. There are many, many, many people that deal with this disorder, that actually have this disorder. Not the people you see on fucking TikTok that make TikToks about it. I mean, there are people, there are good people that make TikToks about it. I'm not, I'm not like roasting anyone that makes TikToks or throwing shade at anyone that does TikTok videos. But you guys know the, the TikToks I'm talking about where it's bullshit and it's fake and they do it for views. That's not it, chief. Um, I wanted to make this video so people would have some sort of, um, I don't know, it feels awkward to be like, you can do it, because I feel like I haven't done it yet. I'm not there. All, I'm not all there, if that makes sense. But I, it's a lot easier with my life being a full, I mean, not... <laughs> That's not entirely true. Being a full-time breeder and doing, you know, what I do for a living now is... It doesn't have the normal issues that a normal job would have, but you get put on... The stress and everything that comes with it, it's a lot... It's the same stuff, it's just you're worried and you're stressed about different things. That's really the big thing, because, like... I, that's another video for another day. What I want to get to people is the fact that for the people out there that are trying to do the dream, you know, trying to be a full-time breeder, things like that, trying to, wh whatever your dream is, I don't give a shit if you don't care about reptiles, whatever your dream is, push through it, man. You can do it. I remember being at the spot you were, where I just, I couldn't hold a job down. I, I, I worked, a, I would work a job for a month and then I would just find something that I just absolutely loathed and hated about it. The people that I hated. I could not, I, I couldn't function in a regular workplace and that's why I just kept switching. And I, I don't know why, ironically, I just kept finding better positions that would take me. It, Say keep pushing, man. Um, find something to focus on and live for that thing. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for something you love, man. For me, it's the animals. Of course, it's for my amazing, incredible 
fucking perfect significant other that deals with my bullshit on the daily and all the problems and baggage that I have that comes with me and still decides to love me every day, I will, I'll forever be internally grateful and also just very confused on why you would stick around with someone like me, man. I don't, I don't know how she does it. She truly is someone that I don't deserve at the end of the day. I'll put that in there. Keep doing what you're doing, keep hustling, whatever phrase you want to use in there, it, it gets a little better. It's not, and it's hard for me to talk about the positive stuff because I'm not there yet. I'm not at the positive point where I can relay information that, hey, it does get better. I am fine. I'm not fine. I'm, I'm pretty low. I, I'm pretty low on the totem of fine. I'm pretty down at the bottom, but there's light, you know, and I, I think I do believe that there is a better, in the future, there's something more, you know? It's not just this, this, how I'm feeling, what, how I go through life, this can't be it. There's gotta be more, you know? And being as ambitious of a man that I am, I'm gonna set out and try to find what that better part is out there and hopefully find truly, you know, what happiness does feel like, what just genuine joy feels like, things like that I aspire to find because it's, this ain't it, you know? I know people look, they're like, you're doing all these amazing things. I, I see the comments, you know, people are like, oh, I respect you, man, you're blah, 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 whatever people want to say. I hate talking about my praise because it feels so cringy because I don't feel like I should be all those things and that is just stuff I deal with. Um, Yeah, we're like, let's talk about the negative. Let's talk about the positive. Negative, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Um, it's hard being positive and taking praise and all of those things. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know if this video will help people. I hope this maybe, I don't know if, this, I don't think this is an inspirational video actually. This actually feels like a very sad video the more that I talk, but I hope at the very least it gives a bit more of an understanding of what uh, borderline personality is because it seems to be number one a buzzword that people just cling on to because they look at, again, the Google stats. They're like, I have some of those. I have borderline. I'm bipolar. I have schizophrenia. Blah, blah, blah. That ain't it, chief. I'm gonna keep saying that. That ain't it. Um, I hope this gives a better understanding of what borderline is and the things that people with borderline deal with on a daily basis and what's really going on. And I hope this does serve, maybe it is somewhat inspirational because although I'm not talking inspirational, I, you know, I, I am a full-time breeder. I, I do do this for my full income. I mean, I work, you know, the post office one day a week just for some walking around, you know, Chipotle money, but this is how I make the majority of my income going on. So maybe at the end of the day, if I'm not talking inspirationally, maybe you just take note that like, hey man, this guy is dealing with all this on the regular, but like, you know, he still is doing what people have dreams of, I guess. Anything positive about my life, I feel so cringy talking about. And it's like, I feel like I'm being a narcissistic ass when I'm like, I'm a full-time breeder, blah. You know, it, it, it doesn't feel, ugh, it hurts coming. Okay, I'm done. That's the video, congratulations. If you sat through, I don't know, man, 40 minutes of this, god damn, I am so sorry. I don't know when we'll be back regularly. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to post shorts of popular TikToks that I've done and <laughs> hopefully buy me some time before YouTube is just like, he's not posting content anymore, we're shutting him down, we're stopping the algorithm, so I don't know what the future holds, hopefully. I can get my act together soon and get to at least some sort of a place where I can make content again and it doesn't... I can do it. I have! Because I didn't want to re-edit it. But I'm gonna try to make that video for Sunday or Saturday, whatever day it is. That's it. This one piece is five minutes long. If you made it this far, let me know in the comments. Leave a big fat Bimpson in the comments. Bimpson. B-I-M-P-S-O-N. Bimpson. I live for Bimson. Goodbye.